All right, guys, quick update on the progress in the RV. We've got the overhead sleeping area that's almost finished. We've got the living room area with our sweet new pull-out couch. Oh, yeah. And then we're trying to figure out what we should put here. Hmm. Now we're cooking. Get it? Because it's a kitchen. <laughs> Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We're back in the workshop, you guys. Our gigantic workshop. Today, we are working on the kitchen. And by today, I mean like probably a week or two because <laughs> it is a massive beast a of a project. project. They actually ran out of the plywood that we like to use at Menards. Mm -hmm. So we only had one panel left. So we did what we could do, which is just this bottom piece because we're gonna end up building the kitchen counter and cabinet face uh, up against that. So at the very least, we can get started on that even though we don't have plywood to finish the whole area. Underneath the kitchen area, there's actually a lot of uh, utility stuff that we got to take into account. First off, we have the wheel well over here, which we're going to build a box over. There's this, which is just uh, where the gas intake is. So the gasoline goes in here and then flows into the tank. We basically just replicated what was there before. We built this handy little box out of some nice strong plywood. That's going to go right there. Just in case we need to do any kind of repairs or upgrades in this area later, I'm just going to put some screws in here. And that way, if I ever need to take this off, I just take those out. And bam, there you go. This little door here is for our shore power. So there's going to be an actual outlet here that a cord can plug into. We actually just replaced this little plastic door, much nicer than the old one. Then of course we have the original plumbing that we decided to keep because it was in good condition and we didn't want to have to do all this work later. So the sink is going to sit right here when it's all said and done. Now we just got to build it. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to start with this wheel well box. We got to do that. I love seeing nasty things put away. <laughs> yeah, look, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. <laughs> so this, is our super simple wheel well box. It is not load bearing, so it's gonna look a bit different than the one that we built on the other side. So this is gonna be built out of quarter inch plywood, and then we're gonna have little strips like we did along the gas intake box to attach it to the wall on the sides. This one will have one along the top and the other side. But basically all we need it to do is sit on top and cover that nasty atrocity so that we can insulate it. And you're literally never gonna see it because this will be in our cabinet. So it doesn't need to look pretty, it just needs to be functional and I think we can accomplish that. So this box is done, you guys. Check out our creation. It was super lightweight so that is a, a good thing. So this just sits in just like that. And then Bob's your uncle. All right. So we're actually gonna line the inside of this with like a sound deadening and then we're gonna put uh, insulation in there. So uh, hopefully we won't be getting too much road noise through this. Plus we're gonna have the rest of the whole cabinet that's gonna be blocking a lot of the sound too. So I think we're gonna be okay, hopefully. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Check it out. We're in a snow globe. It's finally snowing. Sadly, it's supposed to snow really hard for four hours and then warm up and all disappear. But, but we're gonna enjoy it while yeah, it lasts. Yeah, I was about to say, taking it all in. Actually, we're about to go work, so we're not gonna get to enjoy it, but. <laughs> At least we'll be out in it for a little bit, get to see it. Let's talk about our plans for this kitchen. First, I probably need to pause the KC Musgraves. <laughs> Have we thoroughly confused you guys with our music preferences yet? <laughs> we <laughs> so like when, everything, when man. When it's Post Malone, then it's Taylor, then it's Casey. Yeah. This. Is that, is that reflecting? Can you see that? Yeah, Does this look like a foolproof plan? <laughs> We've literally been puzzling over, puzzling over how we're gonna do this kitchen for like the last hour, maybe two hours, I don't know. <laughs> One of the main criteria is that this needs to remain very light because the original kitchen that they had was kind of like a stick frame, which means that they didn't have, it wasn't built like a proper cabinet. That cuts down on the weight a lot. So we're gonna do something like that. It's mainly gonna be the face frame and then it's gonna be kind of attached to the, on the bottom and then on the back wall. Uh, we'll show you how all that comes together, but 
first we need to come up with this face frame. This has been very hard. It's been a lot of math, you guys. <laughs> and we suck at math. It's gonna be the, the most complicated face frame we've built, but I think that we have a decent plan. We have a little cutout here for the stove. We've actually bought the stove, but it was damaged in shipping. So yeah. we, can't, we can't actually have it here to measure and stuff. But our new stove should be arriving anytime now, right? They have gone radio silence on me, so I have no idea. Well, we'll get a stove eventually, you guys, but until then, we're just working with the measurements from the website. Okay, let's get face framing. <laughs> Check out this monstrosity, you guys. Oh yeah. Pocket holes are awesome, but you, sometimes you have to do stuff like this if you wanna get it lined up perfectly. <laughs> These are the clamps that come with the pocket hole jig to hold it down this way and then hold it down this way. But we have like 20 more pocket holes to go and our face frame will be complete. Face frame is complete, you guys, and we're actually really happy with how it turned out. Now we have to move on to arguably the more difficult part of the project, and that's assembling this whole thing. These are the challenges. You can't put just a typical cabinet frame, box frame in here because all this stuff kind of gets in the way. And we're also trying to cut down on weight. So our idea is to do what we've seen a lot of other people do and just build kind of the outside frame. So we have that face frame. Now we just have to build all the stuff for it to attach to. This is kind of the pedestal that it all sits on top of. This is gonna be a kick plate. This will be the very bottom of the cabinet. It allows you to stand like this and not kick your feet so you can get a little bit closer to the cabinet. We argued whether or not to do that, but I think ultimately it's worth it. It's just a bit more complicated. So we're gonna get all the support pieces in place and then we're going to fasten the face frame to all that. I mean, there's probably better ways to do this and we puzzled over so many different ways. We did multiple different designs in SketchUp, but this is what uh, we came up with to be the most practical, use the least amount of supplies and least amount of weight. Slight oversight on our part. We want our kitchen cabinets to come out to around 25 inches total which as you can see here, it's to 25 inches, but we didn't quite take into account that the face frame sits in front of this toe kick as do the drawers. So we have, a, we're out about a inch and a quarter too far. We but thought we <laughs> took this into account, but then when we put it in, we, we're not sure what happened. <laughs> I, we went through so many iterations of this. I think we had one where this toe kick was much smaller, somewhere there wasn't. We just kind of got caught up in the middle somewhere. It's fine. It's very salvageable. We're gonna cut that inch and a quarter off of the top of this. And then once we put everything on, the face fronts, the drawer fronts, everything's gonna be beautiful and perfect and back, to, back on track. It's gonna look so purposeful. <laughs> it is. We'll have a few little scratches from our pocket holes, but it's fine, nobody will see it. To salvage this cut, we just have to run this whole thing we built uh, through the table saw. It's pretty awkward doing cuts like this, but it should work just fine. <laughs> reports the approval comes as the European Commission is embroiled in a public dispute with the company which says you guys we have done it we have mostly completed the frame for the whole kitchen area check this out <laughs> So from left to right, this is just the cabinet for accessing under the kitchen sink. Then up here you have a big drawer that's gonna have all of our silverware and stuff like that. This opening here is gonna be for a slide out trash can. We did a lot of debate on what to do with the one next to it, but I think we're gonna do some kind of like slide out cup holder or a spice rack, TBD. And then on the far right, you have the area for the stoves so that should fit perfectly in there. And then below that, this is gonna be maybe some kind of access panel or some kind of shelf. I don't know. We, we still got to put a bunch of stuff in there so it might get in the way of a drawer. We're still figuring it out. Ultimately, we're pretty happy with how it turned out. Everything is nice and square, uh, surprisingly square, considering that we're building it. Suspiciously <laughs> square. Suspiciously square. <laughs> so this project took us a little bit longer than we had planned, but it's because we had to do so much customization. As Eric was mentioning, you know, we have the pipes down here, we had the gas intake, we have the wheel well. So. It couldn't just be a nice, beautiful cabinet. We had to keep in mind that, you know, we can only go this far back here. So we figured trash can should be perfect. This comes up really high. So we figured maybe we could just do like a little pull out for cups or maybe seasoning. And you guys, I love our little toe kick. Yeah. We actually had a lot of problems setting this up, you guys, but I'm glad we did it because um, we really wanted to have this toe kick because I think it makes all the difference. Now I can be like, chop, 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 saute, wash. 
everything. I can do it all right here. Tomorrow, our plan is to get a countertop and do a dry run with that. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. That's right, welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> Except imagine that I am a stove and next to me is a sink and there are full cabinets in there and it's all done. I can, I can see it now. Yeah, you can see it now, <laughs> you can picture it. We got a countertop, obviously it is completely unfinished, we have some more to do. And obviously we built this thing sturdy enough to handle all a hundred and something pounds of me, <laughs> so which means that our construction is pretty good. Yeah, and we're gonna do even more reinforcements just to make sure it's sturdy, but I mean, it can hold you. I so. know, how cool is it looking in here? It's really coming together. Yeah. It's feeling more and more homey. Obviously we're gonna have a lot of finishing work to do on oh, all yeah. this stuff, but you know, that's for a later, <laughs> later date. So now all we have left to do in the kitchen, well, all we have left to do, we've got everything left. We gotta build our cabinets up here. We gotta fill all this in, get our drawers in check. Yeah, cut the hole for our sink, stove, all that good stuff. Yeah, but first we gotta get a sink and a stove, you know, minor details. We did the best we could to make this thing as square as possible. And the frame is pretty square, but this wall is not square, you guys. So now we got this gap that we're kind of dealing with here, but we got plans for how we can kind of minimize that and hide it <laughs> yeah so we'll for sure have a backsplash and then we'll have to put some sort of trim piece around so i think we can hide it yeah. but that's going to do it for this edition of building your own kitchen with the endless adventure <laughs> goodbye adventures we'll see you on the road <laughs>